okay it's really a fast way to get um, to get access uh, translate plus can do the two point trick but not the three point trick okay I can uh, with translate plus I can for example uh, say I want this polygon normal to rotate my object like I can do here okay um, next up on move okay on move is really funny it's it has a lot of uses uh, I'm just gonna show one of them here it, you can you pick a poly select connected go on move and basically you can slide if you have the object direction the first poly so I selected the first poly it's gonna take that and <laughs> you can basically slide the object over another object and will adjust the direction of it it's quite funny if I, if I use this one for example on move over to this guy's head okay so it's a fast way to to align a polygon uh, uh, an object to a polygon of course the direction you can adjust here but it's not going to be very precise but you can use gap roll you can change you can rotate you can scale it like so can offset it okay it's uh, really fun to to place stuff over something um, last three tools dimension dimension and scape to absolutes uh, are both using uh, input to scale to an absolute size these are sizing tools uh, so dimension uses um, the axis while scale to absolute uses a direction between two points so this is saying that these two points are selected are at this distance and I can change it to for example 5 and it will scale these two points and everything will be scaled with them okay uh, I mentioned works differently basically you define the bounding box of this so for example if I want this object to occupy at maximum for example 30 meters I come to the highest value put 30 I say maintain proportion so this 30 will be um, propagated to the other channels and now I know if I come here to bounding box okay I have 30 so it's quite handy to uh, last one is a very great tool called 2 2 scale uh, why is why is so cool is for example uh, this table is not fitting very much on this guy so I wanted to scale it to fit better um, so what I, what I can do is say it's a point selection tool too so this is gonna be my guide size and this is gonna be my affected size and I use scale connected points so I selected these two but all the points gonna be scaled and I can use attach okay so now this distance covers that distance but there's a problem 
not the same here so what can I do um, so first uh, I'm gonna use this the tool here you can can not use attach and now it's right here but here it misses and use it again so Clean this up, select my affected measure, and I this time instead of scale, I use stretch. Okay, and now it fits perfectly. But for example, I don't like much um, of this distance here, I would like that this distance was the same distance than this one so what can I do bring this down so basically I'm gonna use the tool again but this time I'm gonna say I want this to be my guide distance guide measure and this my affected measure and but I don't want to scale all the points because then I'm gonna lose uh, the good relation I already have with this object so what I have to do is to use the plugin and when I activate it I say I just want to use the selected instead of the connected points okay so it's gonna read this distance and apply it here okay and I do the same Thing here. Mm -hmm. So wireframe for easier selection. Just the selected stretch. Okay. the same measure uh, but I still don't like I think this is too tall so what I could do is say for example um, I want this to have the same size of this so I, I pick this distance I pick this to be transformed okay and in this case I can use the connect again and use stretch okay and now it's smaller 